Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wolf and welcome to a preview of a game called Windlands. This is created by a company called SciTech Games. It has been in early access as of the 9th of January 2016, but had an official release on the 5th of April 2016, so I'm only a month late. It's basically a first person grappling hook exploration game. And there isn't really much of a narrative story, but there is a backstory that you can uncover as you play the game. The gist is that you pretty much soar through the ruins of a fallen civilization and discover the secrets of an ancient world. Now, I haven't actually played the the start of the story in a while, so this is kind of new to me. Like, this giant dude scared the crap out of me when I was doing like a little quick test run to make sure this game would record. Uh, I do not remember him. What is he? I kind of hope we figure out later on. But yeah. You can actually collect these tablet artifacts, which will fill in a mosaic that basically reveals the ancient story behind the world of Windlands. Just want to get the whoop, whoop, okay. I shouldn't have died so early in the game, but yeah. So the game does have a few noticeable, no, noticeable, notable features. Noticeable as well, actually. And one of the first and most important things to note is that this game is designed for virtual reality first but that doesn't mean you need a vr headset to play it i'm just playing with the controller here and it works pretty well so far so we're gonna get to do some double double jumping over here but yeah the game is mainly grappling hook focus like it focuses the most on grappling hook movement what have i done i kind of messed that up like i said it's been a while bear with me and yeah it, it re relies mostly on no! 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 Okay. We messed that up. The controls are pretty floaty, which I'll get into a little bit later on. Yeah, there's a variety of large levels which you can explore as well. And they they sort of let you choose your own routes. There's multiple routes that you can take to complete them, which is really nice. It does have skill-based speed runs and time trials for some of you who are looking for a little bit more of a challenge. And it also has collectibles. For those of you who are completionists, so it sort of appeals to a slightly diverse range of gamers. Here we go. Got me my grappling hooks. So yeah, the game also says that it offers a calm, zen-like, positive, pressure-free, non-violent play. And that was something that sort of stood out for me. Oh, did I mess up the grappling? I did. Whoop! Whoop! Oh, come on. Up we go. That's it. That's it. Up we go. Up we go. What are you doing? Okay, we can make this. <laughs> we can make this <laughs> in like 50 million years. <laughs> but yeah, so as I said, calm positive, yeah. Yeah, you can actually unlock new... You can unlock hidden areas and discover many, like, many secrets of, of Windlands. And you can also create new paths and bring life back to the Shattered World, which for me, I, I didn't really find that you were sort of bringing life back in any way, but I did find that it was true that you could create your own paths. You weren't really limited to following, like, grappling to a certain tree or anything like that, or following a, a, spe a very specific route to get something done, so that was really nice. So, moving on to my experience with the game, I, I found the controls were actually very simple and very easy to use, but getting the hang of grappling, as I'm doing now, was actually pretty difficult to master. It, you, it may take a while for some, and it may be quick for others. Why have I gone here? Was I, was I meant to? Okay, I don't know, but we're gonna, we're gonna swing around a bit, gain some momentum. See how nice the swing is? Like, this is another thing. Like, for me, my experience with the grappling and, and swinging has been, like, super, super fun so far. And as I mentioned, it's a very open game. So you're not limited. So the world, the areas feel... Ah, uh, ah, uh, nah, nah. There's going to be a lot of moments where that happens. So it's very open and it feels very nice. There were some issues I had with the game, though. And the most notable is the floaty controls like they the developers advertised that they would get a calm positive pressure free non-violent and zen like relaxing play which I found 
has been a complete and utter crock of sh Oh lordy. Oh lord. No. Oh. No. No. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. <coughs> and that's mainly due to the, the, the floaty controls and it can cause a lot of frustration. And yes, some people might defend it and say, yeah, it's meant to add a challenge, yeah. It's just poor game design, full stop. No game is really meant to have floaty controls of any sort. Okay, I found that the distance for the grappling can also feel a, just a little bit inconsistent. I've noticed that, like, as you, as you get familiar with the game, you'll sort of think, okay, I can grapple onto this thing, and then you go, you go to grapple it, and you're just out of range. You're like, wait, hang on a second. But I was before. Like, I, I di I've done this, I've grappled from this distance before, how come I can't do it again? And these little things sort of come together to ruin that calm and zen-like experience the developers were aiming for, so they sort of need to fix that. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of people that can try to defend that. I know some people will, and they'll try to say that the floaty controls are to add a challenge. It's not to add a challenge. Floaty controls in any game are generally just poor game design. Full stop. There is no to add a challenge or anything like that. There are many ways to add a challenge to the game apart from floaty controls. I mean, that should have been advertised in the features that the game would have floaty controls or something that would create a challenge. So it wasn't. It's just unresponsive. I actually just noticed that this is the mosaic that they were talking about. Yeah, because we've unlocked this area. So I'm going to go to this area. This is what the... This is the area that you need to finish to sort of continue the game. You have to finish one area before you can move on to the next. And I got stuck. And so that, that's that been my experience with the game. I got stuck. I couldn't finish it. And it's just really frustrating. There, there was like this platforming area where I just keep falling off of the floaty controls and I just can't be bothered it's too frustrating that's not relaxing for me so let's pick a direction so you've got you see that there's like a few different paths that you can pick this path here that I'm looking at that's the one that I struggle with this one was a little bit difficult so let's try this one first if I can if it'll let me But yeah, you'll notice that the visuals, the visuals are actually really nice. They're, they're amazing, they're consistent with the game's art, cartoony art style. And it actually does, it comes together, you, you know, it might lack detail, but it's it's pleasantly vibrant and colourful, so I like that about this. It, the visuals do really actually make you feel relaxed, and the game's also optimised fairly well. I, haven't, I didn't have any issues during early access. I don't have any issues. I'm not having any issues now. So that's something to, to keep in mind. I just got to figure out how to... I'm going to slingshot myself. Whee! What? Oh, you. You bumhole, yo. Okay, go. 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 Oh, no. Don't panic. Don't panic. I didn't panic at all whatsoever. Um... But yeah, music is actually really good as well. I found that it's... I just literally jumped and leaped to my death. I found that this actually shoots the game pretty well. Just pretend that this didn't happen at all. It's, it's uplifting and bright at times, but it's eerie and mysterious when it needs to be. So that was something the developers did really well. They were, they were consistent in the sort of areas that you were visiting. Ooh, let's go up this tree. I want to go up this tree. Yeah. Yeah, Spider-Man my way up there. Ah, okay, so I sort of need to go up this tree. Let's see if I can get some momentum and swing around. There's a collectible that I can get, but I don't want it. There we go. How's that? Full pro MLG now. There are sound effects as well, obviously. Like, you'll notice that they actually do well. They're consistent with the game's art style. They're not over the top or overly detailed, but there's enough to give you some audio feedback. Like, if I hit these rocks, you hear it makes this sort of tinging sound, and there's even visual feedback for that. And when I use it on this, there's a different sound as well. And you can hear when you're shooting your grappling hooks. So that was that's really nice. Oh dear. Oh, 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 oh. I can make it. Yeah. Yeah, you can't stop the... Okay, so. 
Oh man. It's a fun game. I, I, I'm I'm not like ripping on it a major amount. I, I found it fun, but I found it, it was also equally frustrating. And there we go. I'm dead now. Oh, saved the whole let's play. Saved it, man. Don't even know. Okay, we're gonna swing for that one, but I'm gonna gonna lower my grappling hook. So you can you can press B to sort of extend your grappling hook and slingshot yourself. Sort of, maybe. Oh, I landed on it, but then I, I walked off because of the floating controls. Oh well. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go and take a look at the menu. So the menu is pretty, pretty basic. You got your controller layout, which they recently added. There's not much to change here because there, this is a work in progress, and you could change to like hooks on buttons, which changes your hooks to X and and B. Uh, you've got your options. You got your game options, which are fa fairly basic. I'm not sure what advanced rope is. I haven't. I didn't notice any difference when I turned it on. I haven't had a chance to look in it into it as well. Audio is pretty good. I've noticed that they have. You've got your main one, which is master volume, sound, and music, which is pretty standard. You want your sound effects and your music separate, but they also have ambience separate from sound and music, which is really nice because there are some people who might want their sound effects to be louder than the ambience and the music. So that was really good. They sort of went not tremendously above and beyond, but it was. I was just surprised to see that. Your video options are fairly basic. Uh, th there's not really much because the game itself is pretty, pretty, like the graphics aren't that over the top detailed or crazy. So I think you'll be able to run it on, if you're using something like a GTX 950 or even just some sort of dedicated graphics card, I think that will help. And I don't think you should have any issues running on 60 frames. I'm on 144, but that's on a 980 Ti. I would be pretty pissed off if I wasn't at 140 on a, on a 980 Ti with this kind of game. And then you've got your control options. So they've actually added uh, disable turning. So if you're, you've are you got disable strafing and limited limiting uh, vertical turn, which is good. If you're going to be using a VR headset, these options may actually be fairly useful because if you're turning with your controller and turning with your head as well, that can cause a bit of issues and frustration. So it's nice that the developers added this option. I would have liked, if they are planning on sticking with the floaty controls, they should have a sensitivity option for those controls. If, I mean, there are people that might like the floaty controls. As I said, I think it's poor game design, inevitably. But if there are people that like it, and if there are a number of people that like it, then there's no point in removing it just because one or two people here and there might dislike it. But I think they should add an option to cater to people who like responsive controls and to people who like floaty controls. I don't know many people who do like floaty controls as well. Only the people that have an ego to fill with requiring that sort of challenge. Um, <laughs> moving on from that. We, well, is there any other options I need to show? Oh, yes, the feedback thingy. Yes, yes, yes. I like that they have this. They even let you put your email, your name, uh, which is really good. And it, you can see that it tells you your map and like your coordinates if you want to report a bug. So it's really nice that they have something like that in there. <laughs> I almost fell off. Let's grapple onto here. So the game has been receiving updates every few weeks since early access, and it still is in its sort of finished state, which is really good. It's good that they're still continuing to update the game. Oh lordy, I messed up. Let's see if I can slingshot myself towards there. Swing, swing forward my friend. Oh yeah. Woo! Okay. So yeah, I would say, I mean, it's going for 20 bucks on Steam at the moment if you're interested in purchasing it. I can't really recommend doing so though. I, like I said, my... It's definitely worth following, don't get me wrong, but... It, my experience with it... While it's been pretty breathtaking, it's also been extremely, extremely frustrating. Mainly because of the floating controls. It, it sort of, it ruins it for me. And as I said, I got stuck at a point where I just, I couldn't, I couldn't even com go through the rest of the game. I would have liked if they didn't gated the levels, if they hadn't gated the levels behind requiring these little thingies to unlock. Oh god. What have I done? Oh, the music's gone all eerie as well. 
But yeah, I would have liked if they just let you play the levels freely. That would have actually made it a calm and relaxing experience, but such is the design of the game. And if I could describe the experience in in like one sentence, I would say that it's it's like a first person Spider-Man who's had his feet drenched in butter. But I'm going to leave that one there. Links will be in the description if you want to check out some more information about the game. Uh, the developer's website and the game's website will be on there as well. And I'd like to thank SciTech Games for actually allowing me to showcase this on my channel. I really appreciate it. And I would like to thank each and every one of you for watching this as well. I appreciate that even more. And if you did enjoy the video, let me know in the comments below. And let me know if you're... Actually, let me know if you've played the game and whether you found that the controls were floaty as well or whether you like them and why on earth you did like floaty controls because because i kind of want to know uh, but yeah i'm gonna end that video there guys and as usual i will see you in the next video Got this going. Got the Spider Man shit going on. Yeah. Oh lordy. Yeah, boy. Woo! Spider Man. But no, no, no Spider Man. Oh lordy. Spider-Man has made a big mistake. <laughs>